Sarah, I'm Holly and it is time for December's round of Game of Books. If you're new to this channel, Game of Books is how I decide the books that I'm going to be reading each month. It is a fun TBR game and I have been doing this I think over six months. Did I start in May? So it's going well, it's going well. And this month is very exciting. Obviously Christmas is in December and the whole of December really is Christmas for me. So I'm very, very excited to maybe get in some Christmassy reads this month. But first of all, November. November, November, November. What happened in November is that I didn't really read hardly any of my TBR. I did end up reading quite a few books. I took part in Believeathon in November, which is a middle grade readathon, and I read a couple of other books. I did get to a couple of books on my TBR, but to be honest, it was one of the biggest failures of the year. So this was my Game of Books TBR for November. We had the Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness, which was a science fiction that matched the colour of my top that I was wearing. Then we had A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. This was a fantasy that I had hauled in 2020. We also had Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. This was a non-fiction with a white cover. Then we had 1984 by George Orwell. This was a sci-fi and the prompt was to reread a favourite. And then the final book on my TBR was A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, which was the lowest rated non-fiction on my TBR. Now, can can you guess how many I read of these? I read two of the five. I ended up reading The Ask and the Answer and Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race, but that's three books, three books that I didn't get to, which is it's a little bit of a shame because I was excited to read them and I definitely will get to them at some point, maybe in December, maybe not, we shall see. But that does mean before I get into the roles for this month, I am going to pick a punishment book. And that means that it's time to bring out the TBR jar again. These are most of the books on my physical owned TBR and I'm just gonna randomly pick one. I'm not gonna pick three because that just, I'm not gonna. We're just gonna pick one as the punishment. Okay then, please let it be a really short book. Okay, I'm very scared. What if it's lame is? Okay, we have it here. Let's have a look. Interesting, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Let me just go and get that. This is a domestic thriller and I believe that it follows a group of mums who, you know, they all know each other from taking their kids to school, but then certain things happen. A few years ago this book was incredibly popular. I think a TV adaptation was made, everyone was reading it, and I saw it in a charity shop. It was only a pound so I thought that I'd pick it up. It's not very Christmassy so it's not perfect for December and it is a little chunky. Now thrillers this year have not been my favourite. I haven't been gelling with them very well. Most of the ones that I have read, I haven't read too many, but most of the ones that I've read have been very underwhelming. So I don't know what I'm going to think about this book. It could be rubbish, could be brilliant, who knows? And we will know by the end of December if I get to it. So I am interested to read it. It's not great for December, but it's definitely one that has been on my radar for a few years. It's been on my TBR shelves for a few years. So it's great that I can actually get to this one. And yeah, first book on my December TBR. Sorry about the angle change. I just thought it was too high. So I've moved it down a bit. Hopefully this is better. But yes, without further ado, I think we should just get into role number one. Okay then, so it is time for the last game of books of the year. And we have my little pom-pom. Let's find our starting position. That's close enough to that rainbow square. So the rainbow square it is. And then we have roll number one. Three. I think one, two, three. One, two, three. A contemporary, interesting. And the prompt for that A graphic novel or a book with pictures? Role number one was a contemporary that was a graphic novel or any kind of book with pictures, which isn't ideal. 
because I don't actually own many graphic novels. So there was really only one option that I could pick for this and it is a reread but I'm still excited to get to it and that is Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. I read the whole first three books in this series, I think it was around February time because I actually went to see Alice Oseman at an event and my books signed, loads of my books are signed and I love Heartstopper, it's one of my favourite graphic novels of all time. I think I gave every single one of them five stars and I do think that this first one starts in January so it has gone past Christmas but there is that kind of wintry feel which is perfect for this time of year. If you don't know what this is about, this is about Nick and Charlie who are at school and they start having feelings for each other. Charlie is openly gay but Nick thinks that he's straight so he's having all these new feelings, he's trying to come to terms with what his sexuality actually is and it is just so wholesome, it's so cute, I love it so so much, I love the art style and I am very excited to reread this one. It isn't exactly the kind of book that I wanted for December but I'm not too sad about it. I think I'm gonna have a good time rereading this one. Roll number two. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So a fantasy or another contemporary. I think it's got to be a fantasy. And the prompt. An anticipated read. Roll at number two was a fantasy that was an anticipated read and for that I have Hollowpox The Hunt for Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is the third book in the Nevermore series and I really wanted to get to this last month. I pre-ordered it, I was so excited, I still am so excited, that's why I picked it for this prompt, but I ended up not getting round to it in November which was very sad so it had to go in December's TBR. I don't think this is Christmassy at all but it is magical and it is whimsical and I think this story has a very comforting feel so I think it is perfect for Christmas even if it doesn't have Christmas in it I think it is going to be a very heartwarming and cosy read to snuggle up with in December. The first book in this series, Nevermore The Trials of Morgan Crow, follows a girl called Morgan Crow who is a cursed child. For her whole life she has been blamed for everything that has gone wrong and it is prophesied that she will die on her 12th birthday. Before this happens, this mysterious man named Jupiter North whisks her away to this magical place called Nevermore where there are giant talking cats, there are hotels that shift depending on the people who are staying there, lots and lots of magic, and he enters her in this series of magical trials to get into the Wondrous Society, which is this magical society. I have absolutely loved the first two books in this series, they were both five star reads for me, and I have high expectations that this could be a five star read too. I think this is the book that I am most excited to get to in December, I am, I'm really, really excited for this one. Roll number three. A nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A non fiction or a poetry, and the prompt. A beautiful cover. Role at number four was a non-fiction or poetry with a beautiful cover and I am cheating a little bit with this. It's not cheating, it's not cheating. I've gone with Twas the Night Before Christmas by Clement C. Moore. This is about ten pages and it is the classic poem, you know, Twas the Night Before Christmas when all through the house. Not not thing was stirring. I don't even know. I haven't listened to it or read it in years. So I thought why not just pick a 10 page poem for this prompt and I'm sure that there are beautiful covers of this book somewhere. I might put one or two on the screen so I'm sure there is a beautiful cover somewhere but I will be listening to this through Scribd or reading it. I know that they have an ebook and an audiobook version so we shall see what I do. I'm probably going to read or listen to this on Christmas Eve. I think that would be perfect and yeah it's really gonna take me about five seconds to read that but I think that it will be a nice nostalgic thing to do on Christmas Eve and before I forget I am going to be trying to do weekly vlogs throughout December. I love Christmas, I love December and I just wanted to vlog it, putting up the tree, making gingerbread men, 
everything. Everything. I'm so, so excited for December. And then for potentially our final roll, we have... Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A classic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A sci-fi or a classic. I do have some classics I need to get to, so I think we shall go with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. A classic and the prompt. The final prompt of 2020 is a used book. And then my final roll, Game of Books was very nice to me this month. It didn't give me any doubles, but the final roll was a classic that was a used book. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I bought this one used. I just don't know. Someone might have given it to me. It's weird on the back because it says that this edition free when purchased with the Daily Express. And I don't know anyone who buys the Daily Express. I don't know where I got this book, but somehow I acquired it. And I think I should stop rambling and just tell you what it is. But that is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is probably Jane Austen's most popular novel. I know that a lot of people who have read her books say this is their favourite. And I really wanted to get to this one this year. I think at some point I have seen the adaptation of this, but I can't remember too much about this. I believe you have this group of sisters. Are they the Bennet sisters? And then you have Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy, who when they first meet, hate each other, but then feelings start to blossom. Tell me if I've got that entirely wrong. And I don't know if this is Christmassy at all. Let me know if there is a Christmassy or wintry scene in this. I am really excited to get to this. I don't think it will take me too long. The writing is pretty small, but it's only about 300 pages. So I'm sure that I could read this one pretty speedily during December. So you may have noticed that December's TBR is quite small. I'm pretty sure that I could get through those books either in a week or two. And there are a couple of other books that I would really like to get to. The first of which is The Mad Ship by Robin Hobb. That is the second book in the Life Ship Traders series. I am currently reading the first book in that series. I had picked it up because of Becca's Catch Up Book Club. She is reading through Robin Hobb's extensive library of books and I am about four months behind. So I really do need to read The Mad Ship in December to keep on top of the schedule that they have done. But so far I am about 200 pages I think through The Ship of Magic which is the first book in that series and I don't want to tell you too much because I didn't know too much going into it. I knew that there were ships, I knew that there were pirates and I don't want to spoil anything really until I really know what the plot is going to be. I think we've only just started getting into the core plot. So those first 200 pages were really set up for the series, the trilogy, and I am really enjoying it. I think Robin Hobb is going to be one of my favourite authors of all time. I think she already is, but I have only read one series by her, so if I end up not enjoying any of her other series, then she's not really a favourite, but I really think that I'm gonna love it. There is just this feeling that I get when I read Robin Hobb that I can't really explain. It's almost physical that I don't know how to explain it, but I just loved the Farsia trilogy by her so much. And I can already tell that I think that I'm going to absolutely adore this series as well. And then I did really want to get a Christmassy book into December's TBR. So I was having a little scroll through my library app. I have Libby, which is an ebook and audiobook app that is linked to your local library. And I think that it is also available in America. I'm not sure about other countries, but I have been using that a little bit over the past few Few months and I was having a scroll. There are a lot of Christmas romances and I have read a few Christmassy romances in the past. I didn't love them but I thought that I would give another one a go and I found this one called Christmas at the Palace and I was having a look at some reviews. People were saying it's a bit like Harry and Meghan and I think you have this normal girl who falls in love with the prince. It just sounded really cute and I do like royal romance stories or royal stories. So I think that I could enjoy that one. I don't know what to expect. Let me know if you have ever read this or read from this author before. And then I have all of the books 
books that I was meant to read in 2020. I think I have done a video which is talking about the books that I needed to read by the end of the year or recapping my reading goals or something. I will leave a link to that in the description if you're interested. But there are, I don't want to even count, probably 15 books that I had hoped to get to in 2020 and there is no way that I'm going to get to them all. One of them is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo which is over a thousand pages so I just don't think it's gonna happen but I do want to get to a few of them. I could read A Court of Wings and Ruin, I could read any of the ones that I have been hoping to get to this year. But yes, that is this month's TBR. I hope that you enjoyed this video. What are you reading in December? Are you reading any Christmassy books, any romances or crime? I know that those two genres are incredibly popular around this time of year. But yes, let me know what you are reading and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and to everyone out there, stay curious. Bye! <laughs>